So, sounds okay? Okay. Uh, hi, I am Christopher Monroe. I'm a documentary filmmaker. What I'm really after is the truth. Today, the truth has brought me to Canada, specifically Vancouver, Canada. This is the home of Blue Castle Games, the makers of Dead Rising 2. This video game is unique because it's filled with disgusting characters and also zombies. We're going to explore what it takes to make a game of this level of disgust. And what is the connection between Zombrex and Blue Castle Games? Welcome to Blue Castle Games, uh, the home of Dead Rising 2. And uh, my name is Josh Bridge. I'm a senior producer on Dead Rising. And you know, if you want to follow me in, I'm going to show you where we, uh, we've been working on this game. Come on. See, we uh, like to keep a lot of the information up on the wall. We do a lot of the check boxes, make sure we have everything in the game. You can see there's a lot of stuff in it. A lot of hard work going into making sure we get all those little bits that make Dead Rising a lot of fun. Let's head over here. I'm going to meet a few of our folks that uh, make some of the, the zombies and those weapons and those online experiences. Come on. And these folks here are just, you know, they're starting to pull together that online experience that's going to make the game really awesome. Come on, I'll show you more. You know, we have a lot of the folks that help bring together the timeline experience for Dead Rising 2. We, you know, the missions. We love zombies and we want to make sure there's actually a challenge to trying to beat that clock when you go around killing them. Come on, got some more to show you. Hey Chuck, do you know where Alistair is? Hey Alistair. Alistair. Got some folks to meet hey, you. Yeah. Okay for audio. Testing, testing. Is that working? Alright, um, we good? Tell me about Zombrix. You guys have a slogan. Uh, yes, of course. The slogan for Zombrex is prevention is always better than the cure. I wonder, I mean, can I get it in, in any other form? A pill, maybe? No, it only comes in inoculation in the vial, so. Okay, and I don't have to refrigerate it? Or... No, no, you just keep it in room temperature and it should be good. And how often do I have to take Zombrex? Well, you have to take it every 24 hours. See, uh, you've had 273 days without incident. Say, um, say I'm, I'm worried uh, I, I might be infected. How do I know? What, what are the symptoms? Um, well, first you want to look out for, you know, a rank odor, strange behavior like unfamiliar cravings, the smell of rotting limbs, and... Oh, sorry. Uh, can we... Oh. Sorry, sorry. I just, oh, you my can... head... You can pick it up. Uh, why don't why you, you were telling me about the symptoms. <clears throat> Uh, herd-like mentality, increased shambling, uh, random limb loss, unfamiliar cravings, so if people are, you know, craving flesh or brains. When was the last time you took uh, your Zombrex? Let me tell you, it's been 27 hours now. Take a look. It's a conspiracy. We don't need Zombrex. They're just feeding us this. We I don't need it, I'm fine. You know, it's been 20 something hours. We should take a, we'll take a little break and we can start this when you're feeling a little, uh, feeling a little better. I'm fine. Just, uh, I'm fine, I can do this. Day. Okay guys, let's pack this up, let's go. Let's get out of here, this is not good. Yes. Yes. We will do this another time. Okay, we're done.